you sit there until their skin tore. And then now they had the nerve to add insult to injury uh, after persecuting these men for the anointing on their life. Am I talking to anybody in here that's been persecuted for the anointing on your life? After being persecuted for the anointing on their life, now they have the nerve to find the jailer and say, listen, I want you to put them in your prison. Now understand that the prisons were not like the prisons are today. It was sort of like uh, Potiphar's house. Uh, he had house arrest containment uh, where inside of his house, deep in the house, uh, would be a quadrant, a place where they would contain prisoners. Uh, these prisoners were placed there, not like your average prisoner, uh, because these were prisoners of influence, uh, prisoners that they really didn't have any evidence on, uh, and we wanted to keep them out of society so no one would know the dirt that we've done to them. Uh, keep them locked away. Uh, and um, uh, not just that, but I want you to do something else. Uh, I want you to put stocks around their feet. We want to make sure they don't get out. Uh, with some stuff. We don't really know what they walking with, but we don't like them. And we don't want them out in society. Look at somebody and tell them it ain't personal. Folks don't like you because of the anointing on your life, because of what God has placed in you. And if you're one of these in time believers who don't mind speaking the truth, I promise you, you're not going to be popular. They're going to try to put you completely in the backdrop and make sure that Samuel is coming, Samuel is coming. Samuel will find David in the sheep's pen if it takes him all night. I wish I had somebody to say hallelujah. So they lock them in the prison. Cold, dark, in a man's house. In a man's house, under a man's authority. They have Paul and Silas locked in prison. Bleeding. Their wounds are bleeding. The blood is coagulating. Uh, when they put their garments on to touch the bloody wounds, hurt them even more. The hard stone that they leaned up against just to persevere. And I believe they say nobody greater than you. I searched all over and I couldn't find nobody, nobody greater than you. The Bible says now we're in the talk about text. The Bible says that as they're singing, the Bible said the prisoners heard them. The word heard them translates in the Greek that not they hear them, but they joined in. They didn't know the words until they heard a few verses, and then they caught on and started singing, nobody greater. After a while, I can imagine God sitting on his throne, looking at the blood coming from his servant, which reminded him of his son. Just a few years before, Shifted in the song and Silas said, I won't sing another song. Paul said, What you won't sing? I want to say, Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He said, Silas, sing. Blood's coming down your back. That's a right, but I'm can't nobody do me like the Lord. I ain't ready yet. And so hear me. Until after a while, the foundation. 
last thing it did, it impressed him as a legal official, a law-abiding officer. He said, whatever made you stay and caused you to be free in the process when you could have left, I want that. So this is point number one. Number one, if I stay, somebody's going to see my tenacity in trusting God with what I cannot understand. The Bible said, learn faith is the substance of things hopeful and the evidence of things not seen. So wait a minute now. The jail gets saved. His whole family gets delivered. Surely that's the reason Dr. Penny. Now that I tell somebody God's got bigger things in store for me. The text says that after they get baptized and they began to heal and clean Paul and Silas's wound. Behind they fellowship all that night and the jailer said, you know, if it was left up to me, I'd let you go. Paul said, uh-uh, I ain't going nowhere. Behind the next morning, there's a knock at the door. and said, listen, uh, the magistrates had a meeting uh, and somebody sent a note uh, and told them, I don't know if you realize it, uh, but the men that you beat uh, and that you threw into prison, uh, I don't think you know who they are. Uh, they are ruling uh, citizens. Uh, and the law is you cannot touch I want you to open up your back door, jailer, and I want you to let them go. We don't need this. We don't want this reporting on CNN. We don't need this on gospel. Gospel Today magazine, let them out. They went downstairs and said, Paul, I got good news. You know how you blessed my family last night. Well, look at what God has done, because that's what we believe. We believe that God is in every and in every good offer, look at your neighbor and tell them to sign the times. Everything that sounds good, every offer that sounds appealing is not the will of God for you. It might be for somebody else, but tell somebody it's not always for you. The jailer was happy because he was very excited that Paul and Silas had been such a blessing to him.
see the child. Always be 